Hey guys and welcome to a quick free to play money making guide inspired by some bots I found gold farming. So when you're ready grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. So the first method is a really good money making method for free to play, it's smithing rune arrowheads. Now I was made aware of this money making method pretty much indirectly by making an exposing bot farms video. And in that video I found some smithing bots. Now, according to the comment section, they were smithing rune arrowheads for profit, and so I decided to check out how good this and so I decided to check out how profitable this method actually was. And oh boy, is it good money for free to play. Now doing this method requires level 50 smithing. You can make about 8 sets of 75 rune arrowheads per 5 minutes, and if you're fast you can make around 8.6. This means you can make about 96 sets of 75 rune arrowheads per hour. This of course will require you to have rune bars in your metal bank. This is pretty AFK as each set of rune arrowheads actually takes you around 45 seconds to completely smith, completely AFK. Now, the cost of a bar minus the sold arrowhead price is the profit you're going to be making per bar. The profit per bar as of right now, as of making this video, is 7489 GP per bar. Times that profit by the amount of sets you can make per hour, and voila, you have a profit of 720k GP per hour. However, the rune arrowheads do sell slow, so this could be a bit less, maybe 690k per hour, or you just leave it in the GE. Prices could change in the future. Anyways, at the moment, this is one of the best money-making methods in free-to-play, and it's very consistent as rune arrowheads are used in fletching in members for their great experience and low GP per XP. Now let's move on to the next method. Now the next money making method is spinning bowstring. Now I almost feel awkward as this is one age old money making method that's still profitable and AFK even in RuneScape 3 in 2019. But I'm still going to be including it as it's one botting money making method that apparently bots still abuse, which you'll be seeing in my next exposing bot farms video coming this weekend. Now you can spin about 1400 to 1500 flax per hour in the Lumbridge Castle and it's around 280k GP per hour profit, and it's consistent as bowstring seems to sell instantly on the Grand Exchange. Now this method is actually really good if you're level 1 crafting or just low crafting in general, as it's also good experience per hour, being around 15,000 crafting experience per hour. If you make bank presets, this can be a bit higher, and therefore you'll make more money and get more experience per hour. Now let's move on to the next method, shall we? The next method is also a method bots use in free to play. It's mining clay as it has no requirements, and the profit per hour is pretty decent. Mining clay here, teleporting to Lumbridge, going alongside the bank and walking back here can net you a profit of 400,000 GP per hour. However, this is only the case if you can actually sell the clay for the grand exchange price. And because of the bots, I noticed selling my own clay in mind, which I tested on two accounts, was pretty hard. At that point, the profit will be much lower, and I don't know how much more clay will crash down because of the bots. I'm just hoping the price of clay will stabilize, or in the future go up in price, so that this method will be profitable for free to play once more. A full run of mining soft clay and banking will take you around 2 minutes, meaning that you can do around 30 runs per hour. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little free to play money making guide covering free free to play money making methods. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.